is the one month anniversary of Putin's war on Ukraine, and the Ukrainian people are showing great resolve in their fight with Russia. Yeah, Newsmax Sarah Williamson recently sat down with the former Ukrainian prime minister to get her take on the conflict. <laughs> Every day this war kills our children. There is no explanation for this war. It's just Putin's desire to expand his empire. Peaceful, democratic Ukraine has chosen the Western path of development. We will not forgive them. Today, our children, our families are being shot. Schools, kindergartens, hospitals, maternity hospitals, and residential buildings are being bombed. They're trying to wipe us off the face of the earth. But we are very courageous, and we defend our right to live. What will it take for Ukraine to win, win this war? This is a very unequal war in terms of the power of the aggressor's army and the Ukrainian army. But Ukraine is holding on to three important things. The first is fortitude, courage, heroism of our army, of every Ukrainian. Secondly, the whole free united around Ukraine and the Western world helps us a lot. United States, Great Britain, Canada, and other countries help us a lot. I am very grateful to your country, the United States, for becoming a leader in organizing the world to help Ukraine. Thirdly, Ukraine will fight for its right to exist with all its might. The whole country has risen up in this struggle, from children to the elderly, from our military to ordinary citizens. And this war is not only for the military, it is a war of every Ukrainian. Our unity with each other, our unity with the world will be the key to victory, although the forces in our armies are not equal. How do you think that Ukraine is going to be remembered as a country uh, after this war? Ukraine now, thanks to its resilience, courage, self-sacrifice, thanks to the fact that Ukraine today stands in defense of the whole of Europe and the world, we have taken the blow, we have become the center of a free world, and that is how we will be remembered in history. I think that the victory of Ukraine will be the victory of the forces of good over evil, tyranny, aggression. This victory is very important. After the victory, Ukraine, together with the free world, together with your country, will put an end to this evil, which is the aggressor country that went to war against us. We are going down in history as a country that, together with the free world, will put an end to this evil. Every Ukrainian believes this. Today is a historic moment because Ukrainians have a chance to defeat the evil empire forever, to defeat a country that has made violence, aggression and war the meaning of its life, an aggressor country that intimidates all European countries with World War III, nuclear attacks on the free world. Today in Ukraine is a historic moment to put an end to the evil empire, which today set ultimatums to the free world, including the United States, NATO, and demands things that are incompatible with freedom. In an ultimatum, the Russian Federation has made it a condition for NATO to return to its 1997 position. This means that the countries of Central and Eastern Europe and the Baltic countries must be expelled from NATO. They must get rid of weapons. Otherwise, the Russian Federation threatens these countries. It was recently announced that if Bosnia and Herzegovina joins NATO, military action will be taken against them as against Ukraine now. Today, it is a matter of honor and a matter of life for the whole free world to stop imperial ambitions and stop evil. But stop now by combining the capabilities of all countries that are ready to fight together with Ukraine. Is there anything else that you wanted to add? I want to add one very important thing. Today, the Russian Federation, the country that is waging war against us, said they are ready for negotiations. But the requirements are incredible for Ukraine. We must renounce her territorial integrity, refuse military cooperation with the Western world. We must recognize that the occupied territories belong to Russia. We must reduce our army. In fact, Russia demands capitulation. I want to say that Ukraine will not agree to ultimatums. We will fight for our country and we will win.